Hello guys and welcome to another ship showcase. Today we will be showcasing the Hydra. Now this ship was made by one of our guys over at the SSC, our company. It's a pretty nifty little miner. It's got 12 mining lasers uh, and will probably end up being used in the safe zone. If we start at the back here, we can see a whole array of thrusters. We've got a mix between box thrusters and triangle thrusters as well as a few maneuvering thrusters. If we look at this back compartment, we can see that we have four medium propellant tanks as well as some generators lodged up in here. Moving to the side, we can see our ore crate set up. It's quite a sturdy setup actually. Lots of beams incorporated in there. And towards the front we have some extra fuel rod holders and then we come to our mining laser array. Now as I mentioned earlier the mining laser array has 12 mining lasers as well as two ore collectors and a material scanner. This boat's rocking 202 crates and it's a pretty fast ship. I believe it goes about 130 meters a second empty while going 80 meters a second full. So once you get loaded down it does go a little slow but if you're sticking to the safe zone it's not bad at all. And then on the side we have uh, more fuel rod holders and then on the bottom we have some more as well. We've also got your typical rangefinder set up to uh, help guide you into the asteroids. And then looking over here on the right side of the cockpit, or left side I guess if you're sitting in it, we've got our resource bridge. Let's go ahead and hop in the ship here. But first, let's look at that door. It's pretty neat. I like how it's just kind of worked in there. It's real minimal. So we can hop up in here and shut the door. Let's head towards the back and take a look. We've got our navigation set up as well as all of our YOLO racks, and then we've got our four generators up top here. And then, of course, the propellant tanks down there that we saw earlier. Heading to the front, we have our levers back here as well as an extra turtle and cruise button. And sitting down in the seat, you will notice that our panels are off to the side. Now you might think, man, this is going to be a pain in the ass to fly this ship. But what you can do is you can head right down here to this left panel. And you can press these buttons. And the panels actually move out. It's pretty neat. I like it. And then, of course, to retract the panels, you have this button here and this button here. Now on our overhead panel, we have our typical useful information as well as a little navigation set up there. And on the right side, we have some more information. It does have the material scanner like I mentioned earlier. It has distance from the, your asteroid. And we can turn on the scanner with this button and we can turn on the laser with this button. However, I recommend you press V, go in here to your V setup and actually key bind it there. Because with this ship, with only having four generators, you're going to be eating through a lot of power with your 12 mining lasers. So what you want to do is you want to bind that laser button and then you can kind of hold it on like this and then just click it off. You don't want to run it for more than a few seconds uh, because you'll run out of power. But what I recommend doing is coming up to an asteroid flipping it on for a few seconds, eating up the asteroid, and then getting closer so that your ore collectors can actually pull in the ore. If you do run the lasers too long, I will warn, you will run out of power and you're, you'll have to wait for your power to charge back up before your ore collectors can pull in the ore. So it will slow you down just a little bit. Now another thing I was told by the designer is if this right panel here gets stuck sometimes it might get stuck on its way back what you can do is you can actually hit the button to pull it up and just hit that a few times and it will unjam all right let's hop out for a second and go down under the cockpit here 
I want to show you guys a really neat battery setup. If I could get under there. Here we go. We hop up in here. We have all of our batteries. That was a neat little surprise when I found it. And getting back in the ship. Let's go ahead and do the flight test. If we look at our yaw, it's pretty respectable. Our pitch, it's a little bit faster than the yaw. And finally, let's try our roll. Seems to be at about the same speed as the pitch. It's pretty quick. Alright, let's turn on turtle mode. So it doesn't seem that turtle mode limits the, the maneuvering thrusters at all. It seems to only limit your forward thrusters. Let's get that off. So yeah, I I I pretty well enjoyed this ship while I was shooting the montage. I had flown it a little bit prior to that. Uh, and it's a, a really neat ship. As you guys probably saw in the montage, it just absolutely destroyed asteroids. And it has this really neat grid effect with the lasers. I really like that. Alright. Another thing to note here that I just thought of is that this thing is pirate proof. So if you get attacked by a pirate, they might hit your back end here or they might hit the middle. If they hit either, this entire ship is going to blow up. They will not get a ounce of salvage off this ship. If they shoot the back, the propellant tanks go and then of course all of these batteries in here will go next. It will destroy the ship from one end to the other. So it is pirate proof, sort of, in a way. <laughs> I quite like that. So yeah, it's a pretty cool looking ship. It's pretty durable, you can see by the beam construction. It has a lot of thrusters, it can maneuver around quickly, and it can absolutely destroy asteroids. Now with 200 crates, that's pretty respectable. I'm not sure if you would take this out of the safe zone or not. Um, with it only being 200 crates, but for the safe zone, it is a fantastic ship. It does take a little bit of getting used to uh, with running the mining lasers because you are on the four generator setup, uh, but it's not too bad once you get a feel for it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. It helps out so much. If you would like to get a hold of the blueprint for this ship, it is for sale in the SSC Discord, which is our company's Discord. You can find the link for that in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.